recording. I didn't have a good sleep. I didn't have a good sleep today. Last night, whatever. I had a mouse crawl on me on here. Or two. Either two were fighting. Or one got stuck. I don't know. I woke up to and a bunch of scurrying and I just woke up to ah! I jumped out this hammock so fucking fast last night. Something else brushed along me. Walking under me. Oh. It's weird. And to think I've slept in this exact spot, but on the ground. So I don't get it. Alright, it's looking to be a glorious day. <sighs> I'm chilly, I'm cold. I've been up like every hour on the hour since going to bed. <sighs> Sun's rising. Looks beautiful. It's time for coffee. Time for coffee. Shit. Okay. I got two babies up there. Mum's circling me. She ain't fucking scared. I don't know what to do, guys. Her kids? Shit. Her kids are right there. She's right there. Well, that was a fucking encounter. I, I 
and I don't want to die today. I know I've made many jokes about this before, but... Like, I'm drinking my coffee, I'm not gonna lie, I'm smoking. It's first thing in the fucking morning. I don't know what to do. I'm standing on my tree stump. Wow. So, remember how I told you? Oh, I know, I'm gonna light a cigarette. See, if I could have fire, I lost her. I lost mom. I don't know where she is. Look, those cubs are six trees in front of me. There she is. Please, I, I don't no, this is too f fucking early. Hey, hey, hey! I don't think so, Winnie the Pooh! Look, she's not scared. I lost her again. Oh. Hey! Stay over there. Get your kids. Get the fuck out of here. <sighs> but why would you leave your kids behind? I wouldn't. There you go. Come on, get your babies and get out of here. As soon as they get down, I'm going to yell really loud. Look, I can't see Mom anymore. Shit. They're not getting down. No, they're just fucking playing around. Come on, man. Get out of here! Anybody on trail? There's a mom and two baby cubs! I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm just letting y'all know. Okay. Fuck me. All she did was put them in a tree back.
See, here's the thing. Where are you, Mom? Because I did lose you. I seen you up on the trail. The trailhead is right up along there. I seen her run up there, but her cubs just ran up a different tree now. That was my first bear encounter. And you guys got to see my panic. So, <laughs> let me know in the comment section. Did I handle myself appropriately? And what do I do now? Because she knows I'm here. I can't have a fire. Glad I got my silky blade. I got, I got, I got backup saw here. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on my tree stump, man. I tried to get myself. She was big, and I know like Star Wars taught me anything. You stick to high ground. Mama bear, obviously you seen her. She was like right in there. She had the high ground. And seen her wandering over. She was looking for a fucking path to come right at me. Says this amateur standing on a tree stump holding a silky saw, puffing clouds of smoke to pretend to be a fire. Wow. Sorry if I keep making you just stare at nothing. I'm... This is more about the talking right now. I, I think she's gone. I do. Could you hear her grunts, though? See, I just... You're not going to circle behind me, are you? Oh my god. That was gnarly. Oh, I'm so glad I'm wearing my cloak. I'm, like, waving it like a mad fucking vampire bat thing. That bear was just looking at me like, Homie, is you crazy? I'm just taking my kids to the park. That, that was nutty, guys. That, that... Oh. Oh, I'm so glad I woke up when I did. Like, I, I can't, I can't describe to you how close that is. I mean, I, it, my camera, it looks far, but it, that, that, that was pretty damn close. I, I could see her eyes. Mums was not scared. I don't know what to do. I'm not, I mean, that freaked me out. <clears throat> but my wonder is, is she going to come back? i seen The Revenant. Like, how long do I stand on this fucking tree stump for? All day? I wanted to build some shit. Hey, you, you guys, you guys keep watch. I really hope that that made it all on film.
<laughs> 12 minutes and 22 seconds. That was a scary ass 12 minutes. And, and you gotta understand. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't drop that. I was sitting right there. Just minding my own business. Having my morning coffee and my morning smoke and uh, out of nowhere literally bounding around the corner was just a do -do 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 -do, two little cubs climbing jumping up and down the tree and so I just yelled bear and then they both just vroom, right up the tree and I ran and hid back here at first. And as I did that, that's when mom popped her head up and she see we locked eyes. And I'm looking at it going, awesome, I'm down there. I look even smaller. So I'm waving my... I'm waving my cloak-like shit. <laughs> yelling, bear! Bear! And it's just looking at me like I'm a fool. So I climbed up here, I got the high ground. Star Wars, man. It's not a lightsaber, but... So I got... I mean, at, le at least our claws match. Huh. My coffee's down there. I want it. I feel like I really need to finish that. funny because when I was you know I'm, I'm well I'm awake now but while I was in wake up mode you know I was trying to think of when I'll kick the camera on when I'll uh, when I'll talk to you guys are we on wide mode here hold on there Yeah, I'm not putting the cigarette out. Sorry, guys. Uh, sorry, kids. I, I fire ban little puffs of smoke. Hopefully, they got scared. Thought there was forest fire. Um, yeah, no. Yesterday, like last night, I'm watching mice run in and out of my uh, moss shelter. And I thought mice were the least of or thought mice were going to be the most of my problem. I've 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 seen bear poop on trail here, but like I said, this is like a death area. There's so much more water. That's hilarious. The transit guy. <laughs> I was talking to the transit guy yesterday, and I was like, "Oh yeah, no, I'm in a dead zone. There's no animals, no nothing." He's like, oh, you'd be surprised where a bear would go. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm not scared of the bears. I'm scared of the cougars. Well, that scared the crap out of me. So much so, I, I, I'm going to stand here for, or sit here for a while. I hope you enjoy your day with your kids. Have a great afternoon. That was gnarly. That was gnarly.
I really hope that, I hope that showed up. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Bear invades camp. Right arm. I claimed this spot. And now back to our regularly, regularly scheduled program. There's a lot of this going on. <laughs> see it I'm just making sure it's not in my culvert area here I just kicked a bear up out my campsite, said you don't belong here. I told you take your fucking kids, get the fuck up out here. Cause this is my hood. This Camp Gribbly mother, what? This is my hood. This Camp Gribbly mother, what? I, I, I like to think that's what happens. I like to think that's what happened. Oh yeah. So, on a side note, next time uh, a giant bear, because when she stood up, look, when she stood up, like I, I seen, I seen her kids. Okay. Is it? Yes. The three trees right here. One, two, three. I believe those are the one. Yes, that's the one. Oh, scourge! No, sorry, scourge. That's the tree they were, they were, they were going up, right? So when I seen them, I was like, "Oh snap!" Because I was sitting there and I just heard some tussles, and then I seen two, two kids, and I'm like, "Oh man, this is my playground, right?" So, so I, I. I tried to hide <laughs> and as I came around because I'm not stupid so I'm all like come back here and as soon as I came back here I look over and then <sighs> I'm looking at this right now as I'm explaining all this to you on, on a phone so it's hard to see so sorry I have to zoom in but once she came and stuck her head over that down spruce um, right there. It, it was just like, 
and 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 you gotta you gotta understand I'm I'm down over here by this point so like 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 even smaller so I'm like bear bear and the kids so the kids they're just like what it fucking boom straight up and so now in my head I'm thinking oh you guys ain't coming down anytime soon cuz they just keep going up and I believe around this time and it is when I had grabbed the camera jumped on the stump and held the silky saw so now here's the thing cuz you know higher ground Jedi Star Wars thank you Luke Skywalker um, George Lucas for for that because stick to the high ground so but here's the thing though mind you I guess with what I'm gonna say I would have been coming closer which could have been more dangerous so anyways I chose to jump onto this stump here which I guess in hindsight I, I, I should have picked a bigger stump because when she stood she was big so I would I she would have just been like ooh chicken legs and 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 just eaten me um that yeah that that was that was cool that was scary that was a whole lot of stuff all at once the crazy part was was when I was up here cuz how we've got the sun so we've got this like sunshine ray line that shines down all the ferns straight to me and at one point I don't know what I got on film and what I didn't so I'm kind of rambling right now but anyways as she was circling me because like she came all the way down over here I believe it's pretty close to fucking over here anyways um turned around and went back but there was a point where like I swear she was just looking for that line to just charge but calmly like yeah I'm gonna get you in a minute don't you worry about it and here I am like waving a fucking wool blanket that I've sewn over my head it's been like an hour since that whole incident happened which I believe was 18 minutes of footage or something like that so in 20 minute scenario <clears throat> and it still feels like it happened like I, I I'm looking constantly looking back along this is where my water source is that's where I go for my water I have this little mountain thing so I keep checking to see if they just went up the trail and if she's gonna come back down here I don't know what the plan is I'm not scared I'm just I don't know the behavior like don't don't get me wrong she did not look I I was not in her territory it was to me to me this is this is what the situation seemed like if you got kids you'll understand this have you ever spent Um, have you ever spent, like, a long time walking with your kids, trying to get to that park so that you could have that peace and quiet, only to get there and realize there's some other dumbass people there, whatever, fucking it up for you and your, and your family? And so, like, rather than just leaving right away, you're like, no, screw this, I walked all this way here, I'm gonna let my kids play a minute. And then you kind of like just circle the park as a parent, just looking at the other person, you know, not doing anything, but just letting them know like, hey, I walked a long fucking time to get here and you're ruining it for me because I can't be calm and do whatever and let my kids be idiots because kids are idiots and you're here to see my kids be idiots and I, I didn't want that. That's what that situation seemed like. Like, that bear seemed like she was an angry mom. Like, not angry, but she seemed annoyed. Like, she walked, she probably walked a, a, a while from her house. 
and got to her park and was like, who's this white boy building moss huts and sleeping in a hammock without a tarp like a burrito, perfectly wrapped burrito, which, so now you know, because I've talked about this to certain people, this scenario that just happened is why I don't like sleeping in tents anymore. I, I like the false sense, because it is a false sense, of if I'm in a hammock, because I have uncomfortable sleeps in the hammock, right? But I still prefer it over a tent now, because we've all read those stories, and, and when a bear comes and eats you, and you're in a tent, you can't even get out. So you're like a quesadilla, I guess. At least with a hammock, I'm like a burrito. And I, I have a chance to, to, to kind of slip out. Um, yeah. Anyways, back to, to mom. I, I, I think she was just annoyed. She walked a long time to get to a park. Now she's got to go find another park. The kids are probably just going to complain. But it's not the same park. I got kids, I can, I can relate. But on the real, here's what I don't know. And now this is serious talk. Is she curious now that she knows that I'm here? Um, <clears throat> fire has always been my deterrent. That has always been my thing. I don't have my bear spray. The bear spray that I've been carrying, uh, it turned out that it, it's been empty. Um, not to mention, hey. I hope you were a bird. <laughs> um, yeah, the bear spray that I've been carrying uh, has been empty. It was like a the thing's like seven years old. It was, you know, like back in the gangster days, one of my friends used to carry it and I, he used most of it. Anyways, I shook it up, but could feel a little bit, but yeah, there, it's empty. So it turns out I need, I need mace. I guess I should get some bear bangers or something for the summertime stuff. Um, yeah, I've just always relied on the fire. I've had fireless camp out. I had a fireless camp out last year here. No problems. I mean, I'm not scared. I just now, a mom and her cubs have been here. So my question is, is she thinking, wow, her home is near me. And now she has to claim this spot, which there is no sign of that. Like I said, there was no aggression. No aggression whatsoever, but she circled me. She she wanted to get over here, but she didn't want to take the trouble to do it. So, is she going to come back? Is the bigger question. Anyways. I'm not scared, but it does make me question... Whether I'm going to do stay here overnight now. I think we'll just hang out for the day. Do some stuff and then uh, pack up and go. Game changer. Be bear aware. I, be bear ready. Bear aware means nothing. I, I was fully aware. I scurred that burr. I scurred it. I scurred her good. Um, but yeah, I, I have nothing other than a saw. I have nothing to protect myself. Bear banger. I think I need a bear banger. Bear banger or two. That was cool. I really hope that all showed up. Anyways, I mean, this coffee's cold. Oop. This coffee's cold. I've been drinking it for like an hour. Ah, 
made it a mocha again. Anyways, what a morning. You know, I almost, like, I wanted to stay in bed. So if I had just, if I stayed in there an hour longer, holy, I, that would have been like, I would have been, oh man, I would have jumped out screaming like a little girl, like when the... The mouse, I don't know what the hell that was, too. Last night, I think I told you guys this already. Last night I was sleeping, and like, on, on me, but tucked in the side kind of thing. It was like, and I, I swear, it was either two mice fighting, or a mouse got stuck. And I just... Like, started kicking everything. I'm inside my sleeping bag, right? So I, like, I can't get out. But I started kicking everything, flailing, screaming. And and then didn't hear anything, so I went back to bed. And then there was another point where I felt something brush under me. And I, I kind of went, Hoo-ah! Like, literally, kind of like that. Like, Hoo-ah! it was kind of like the sound that I made. And, uh, fell back asleep. Woke up, you know, like, because I woke up, like, almost every hour, tossed and turned. Um, but I wondered this whole time if there was actually something there. And I had coffee remnant from last night. And, uh, whatever was here, drank it. So, I was not smart with this one, guys. I, not gonna lie, like I said, I've always thought this was a dead zone. So, I, uh, you have no idea how, one, here, let's turn that on me. Let's, this is a humbling experience. How, how stupid I kind of feel. Why? My food, right there. If you seen my clip waking up, it was hanging right there at my feet. That's where all my food was. All my food. I mean, I'm lucky in the sense that it's all packaged, back um, like backpacker's pantry. <sighs> but I have never... Oh no, that's not a lie. That's a lie. I have hung my food before but I've just I've never the places I've gone have always like been like deadish zones there's always been I guess better spots in my head for an animal to get food <laughs> I I don't know it sounds stupid as I say it so that was uh Forest Walker, I'm sure you're just shaking your head for the past five minutes going, are you stupid? Apparently. Yeah. So, hang your fucking food, guys. Hang your food. Never know when an animal's gonna come in. I've never, I've, I mean, that was, uh, that was an exciting, that was an exciting experience, but, uh, it's cougars I worry about. It's cougars I worry about. I don't really worry about bears. Now I have to. I'm going to learn to be more aware of them. But yeah, no, cougars are uh, are actually the animal that scare me. And I've ran up on two of them in my in my past on paths on my bike. Actually, scared. Scared him off trail. Seen a lot of animals. Literally, like, brushed... Actually, I think I have footage of that, too. It's uh, an old one of at a Vetter River campsite. Brushed uh, a bunch of stuff, because I was walking through a fresh trail. <clears throat> brushed this kind of, like, scraggly patch. I brush it aside, because I'm trying to, like, cut through over, and I got, like, the water... Is right beside me. Anyways, j literally just like Jurassic Park, brush it over, and there's a deer 
drinking and he just like, he didn't even run. He just backed away, let me walk. And I just stood there in awe. And I can't remember how much of the footage I got, but we were, we were pretty close. And he just kept like looking at me like, are you, are, are you going to move? Like I was interrupting his drinking. So that was kind of neat. So I had plans to build today. That's what uh, that's what the plan was. I was gonna build, but I'm also here to. Uh, I'm not gonna get into any details, but just kind of relax, not find myself or anything, but just take it easy for once. My mind is always going, 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 going. So I wanted to relax, but then of course, walking up and stuff, it's like, oh, I've got all these ideas. There's all these things I want to do. I keep changing stuff. Last night I was doing a bunch of thinking and ideas kept changing like every two minutes. But I think I'm going to build a teepee right where I'm standing. I think that's one of the things I'm going to do. A teepee, I'll use the uh, green tarp for it and uh, moss that up as well. I have a shovel. A shovel? I have a shovel. I got a shovel. I'm going to end up digging up my uh, fire pit. And there's a fresh tree. Well, not a fresh. I noticed it broke down in the windstorm on the last trip. So anyways, it exposed a whole bunch of rocks. So grab some rocks from there. Hey, I'm not doing this now. These are my ideas. Um, once again, in I'm guessing the next month, that creek will be dry again. So I will get some more stones from there as well. Because I want to make this a huge fire. Huge fire pit. But like a safe, like a safe one. You know what I mean? So like the rocks catch all the sparks and yada yada. A anyways, I have grand plans. Grand plans, man. That was my, uh, the idea for that was to be my sleeping area. But yeah, like I said, I'm sitting here last night. I was gonna film it, but I thought I'd screw it. Anyways, I'm sitting in my in my chair last night and literally just watching a mouse run all over. And it reminded me of um, this past episode on Alone, where Larry was talking about it's just it's constant, it's constant. So my question. What do you do to get rid of the mice, mouse? I don't know if it's one mouse. Like, do I just bring mouse traps? This was supposed to be where I slept. I've, I've slept on the floor hundreds of times, but now that I'm aware of a mouse being there, I have an issue with sleeping there. Or an issue with potentially sleeping there. It'll be a while before that's ever ready to be, sl to be slept in. So, for now, you know, I'm still going to build it and everything. It's going to be my, my moss hut. Um, I'm going to build it up. But until I can think of a way to ensure I have no mouse issues, like, what would you guys do? Just bring mice, mouse traps? And you're sitting there in the middle of the night right beside you and snap! And fucking little head comes popping off or something? I, I, I don't know. Is there uh, some sort of natural, like walnuts, or sorry, not, not walnuts, uh, chestnuts. You leave chestnuts in the house, it'll deter spiders from coming in. Um, 
you know what I mean, uh, hang pennies or put pennies in, uh, in a baggie filled with water. It'll keep flies and stuff away uh, from the windows, like from your kitchen and stuff. Like, is there some sort of little remedy thing I can do to keep the friggin' mice out of there? Anyways. Oh, I've been rambling for 22 minutes. 22 minutes. I think this was more of a rambling video, guys. Not so much artsy. Hey, you got a bear encounter out of it. I, I'd say if you ask me that one single bear encounter footage makes up for the lack of art that I've put into this video. It took me nine hours to get here yesterday. Nine. I miss Chilliwack. I want to move back, I think. All right, my friends, hung around uh, camp for an hour or two. It's uh, 12 o'clock now, so yeah, I think it was yeah, just over an hour. So yeah, it's been a couple hours since the bear incident. Anyways, uh, I was just kind of laying around, listening to music. I can't uh, film anything at the moment while I uh, listen to music because it's all on my phone. So um, didn't film much. Wanted to uh, just have some noise going on so I wouldn't have anything come up from behind me unexpectedly, obviously. And uh, yeah. It was nice. It was a little different. Uh, haven't really like just listened to music while camping in a while. Made me feel like uh, West Coast provincial camping, minus the drinking, I guess. But yeah, I'm uh, trying to avoid an eight to nine hour trip home. I have no, uh, obviously, no, uh, nothing to protect me for bears, and uh, it was kind of an eye-opener, uh, I, I have to say. You know, I uh, spend all this time getting all this gear to be able to survive elements, and I've always talked about bears, I mean, I've always said, you know, a bear is the least of my worries, and it is, but I just, fire has always been my source of protection. And we have fire ban, so, anyways, like I said, it, uh, figured I'm just making a smart decision, and not risking getting eaten in the middle of the night. So yeah, I, uh, I would stay longer, but like I said, I don't want to, uh, ow. I just, I, I don't want another eight hour trip home. I want to do this in four hours. So I have to leave now. So I didn't get it, d didn't get too much building done, but I hope in lieu of the lack of, uh, a great video, I gave you guys, uh, first hand encounter of my first hand encounter of a bear and mom and her cubs never had that before not uh, not coming into my camp anyways definitely not circling me so first for everything anyways guys I'm uh, 
I'm off. So until the next one, follow the rabbit trail.